What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome back to the Welsh Way here with Aberwith Swiss Town. So we are now at the last game of the season against TNS and before we go into showing you the league table and the normal stuff, I want to actually go into my transfers and history is there now, I need to remember that. And um, I want to talk to you about um, youth signings, that was it, that was all. youth signings that we actually brought in. So um, we did sign a lot of people, I have the people uh did sign a lot of people, but I don't think we signed this many. Um, I guess we did... Uh, we didn't actually sign that many people. Um, there you go, we'll just go through and have to, I guess have to find out if they're still here. So the one of them we signed, uh, like officially, who will be here next season, is Eddie Hislop. This is probably one of the best youth guys we actually got through. He's a striker, 16 years of age, uh, has the same surname, of course, as the other striker, Hislop. Uh, he is currently one and a half star, so not great, but he's got five star potential, which of course is a big thing. And at the start of the season, David Hislop actually didn't even have a gold star, but yet now he is rated uh, four and a half star. So, you know, ratings change a lot depending on form and things like that. And I definitely think first team football has helped him improve his stats, especially he's finishing now and slightly going up. So, yeah, things have been, um, he's a very good young striker. I'm looking forward to seeing how he goes. Um, Lewis is a pretty good centre mid, 15 years of age again, 5 star potential, pretty decent report right now, 1 star, he's probably our what is it, fourth choice for uh, a fourth choice midfielder because Davies doesn't play and Callaway doesn't play but uh, in centre mid, so overall you know, very good young midfielder, 15 years of age, so a, lot, uh, a long long time left for him to develop uh, up to the age of 24. Uh, Bonner is actually another one, right mid, this time youngster, not too great, like not a gold star but very young, so I'm happy to sign him on and let him develop in the youth. Um, Hamilton Davies uh, come in centre back again. This is probably the best, I think. Probably a little bit better than his sloppy. He's a two star report already. He will be coming in next season as our uh, backup, like bench defender. Sorry about that there, I just sneezed. Uh, but yeah, he'll be coming in as our backup centre back next season. Uh, he's in the starting eleven. He's in the first team right now. Uh, he's not on the bench though, but he'll be starting to integrate him into the team next season. Uh, Jeff uh, Lever, young centre back again, five star potential, not too great right now, but I'm happy to sign him on for a deal. Um, who else? There's a few other guys as well. Jacob Jones, another one. Look, you can see his potential ability there. You know, all right, current players, young centre back yet again. Lewis, another youngster, right back this time, five star potential. Uh, Bruce, we didn't sign down. Lewis, we didn't. Bland, we didn't. Griffiths, I think we did. No, we didn't. Morgan, we did. Morgan. Uh, who is a left wing back, so obviously I have to train him as a left back since I don't play that, but hopefully he'll be a good player. Terry Lewis didn't sign him down, I didn't swing down, Davies down either. So, you see we signed a few youngsters, they look pretty decent as well. So, I don't think this season I'll be integrating them because of where we are in the league, we don't really have the ability to play youngsters right now, we just need to play our best team possible. But next season they'll definitely be featuring around the team, and maybe even break through like David Hislop did, you know, a couple of uh, youngsters that, at the start of the season I didn't think I'd play him a lot, but he's our top goal scorer this year. So in the league table, we are still currently uh, sitting in a very good position. We are in third right now. Um, the, the league title has already been wrapped up. I think Balor have won the league. Yeah, Balor have won the league. They're the only team to win the league. And what was interesting was the um, Balor were predicted to finish 7th. We were predicted to finish 8th. Port Talbot was predicted to finish 6th. Um, TNS were predicted to finish first, and we actually almost caught up to the two. We had a game against Port Talbot that if we'd won, we would have only been a couple of points behind both of them. But sadly, that result didn't come our way, and then the yeah, result following didn't go our way. So we ended up dropping out like, the title race pretty late on. But I'm proud that we were still up there, um, up up to the point, you know, up to about four games left. I think we were up there still with the chance of getting it, along with Port Talbot as well. Ideally, we need to win this last game against TNS or better or match Port Talbot's result just so we can keep this third place spot because I'm still not 200% sure on how these European um, qualification things go because Balor have won the league, so they're in the Champions League. TNS, are, they're in the Europa League already, so I think it goes 5th, 4th playoff and then 4th, uh, whoever win of that game will go and play us in the last battle for the UEFA, UEFA Cup. UEFA, Europa League spot, there we go, I was going to say UEFA Cup, but that's not even what it's called. And then I think this team actually get European football next season, because the winner of this, I believe, go into the European Cup, but uh, TNS, I predict are going to win this, are already in it, so I believe it will go to the losers, like the FA Cup and the League Cup kind of rolling there. So, um it'll be interesting to see how that actually goes. If it doesn't go like that, I think they get an extra spot in the league. Uh, so, you know, Port Talbot may end up winning 
that may end up getting a place and we end up may up get we may end up getting a place as well but of course only time will tell there so if there is a playoff match of course I will live com that because it's a pretty big stage but uh, yeah third on the table pretty good past fixtures how they've gone so you saw us at the Royal match in which we won 3-0 pretty bog standard good win um, so after that we faced Athen Lido and we won 2-1 he slop picked up a double uh, and pretty much helped us win our game uh, it's sandwiched in between a web goal webby I think so whether you want to say that goal for Lido so overall in a pretty good game um, managed to do well defensively the hold out for a full half we did have Luke Fleming in goal and Ryan Connolly again coming back into the first team for the first time after that we faced TNS at home and we managed to beat them surprisingly our first win against our rivals TNS we actually played a lot better than we have in the recent games against TNS uh, Hislop scored and Jones scored coming on um, getting his first goal I think for a while was it I think it broke his um, goal drought but overall you know a very very good player a uh, very very good game for us definitely a memorable one because like I say TNS are a professional team so anytime we can better them up to the point where hopefully we will turn professional ourselves is obviously a massive um, result for us especially being our rivals as well so after that to lose 4-1 to Bala was pretty annoying for me I don't really know why I, but they managed to just beast us this game you know we couldn't couldn't compete to them on any level despite the fact the match that's showing that in all honesty we probably deserve to win the match <laughs> let alone get hammered 4-1 it just didn't make sense but uh, we, just, we just had to move on and then we faced Port Talbot away from home. We drew 3-3 with them. This was an important match. If we'd have won this game, we would have been up there and around there in the title battle still. But sadly, we drew the game. In the end, Carl Jones had to save us from a defeat. Despite, um, you know, at some, at, you know, taking the lead twice. Had to fight back for a win in the end. And overall, I think we deserved the win. Look at that. When, when the team gets 39% of the ball, you don't really want to be saying that they picked up any points against you. But in the end, we had to fight to get some. So... I take my hat off there to Port Talbot, but again, they definitely took the home advantage to full use there. After that, we faced Ryle, and we won 1-0, got a little bit of revenge. Carl Thomas scoring the only goal of the game in the 72nd minute. He was suffering a bit of a goal drought at this time, so it was nice to see him come on off the bench and score. And also, Eddie Hislop, I think, made his debut in this game, so, you know, good to see. That. I, I am bringing Hislop into the first team slightly, just because uh, he's probably our fourth-choice striker right now, and since... That is enough to deem him a bench place. He's nice enough to see him get a few minutes here and there. And then the second last game of the season, we lost 3-1 to Athen Lido away from home. Disappointing result. Carl Thomas got sent off. A couple of injuries, you know, to our left back and um, striker. So uh, it just wasn't really a good game and one we wanted to move on from. So the last game, TNS, like I said, I'm hoping that we can match or better Port Talbot's result, who they will be facing Bala, so they haven't exactly got an easy game. But they are at home, so they've got a little bit more of an advantage than we'd have. Aaron Lemon is currently injured, so we're going to bring on Lewis Green, who uh, is the youngster, you know, who we just signed this year uh, in the youth intake, so he'll be making his debut today, jump straight in at the deep end with a match against TNS. Mike Lewis in goal, uh, and the team, apart from that, is pretty much the same with what you normally see again, except Mark Jones is playing as the Force 9, but I've actually, yeah, he will be playing as the Force 9 since Carl Thomas is suspended. Uh, I'd rather have him on the pitch than... Eddie Hislop or Bullock. So you'll be getting number two. That's a pretty prestige number for a 16-year-old <laughs> never making a appearance before. So we just need to match Port Talbot's result, and that's the main thing, basically, we want to get out today. Hopefully, they will lose, so that way we don't really have to get anything out of this game. Um, good luck out there tonight. I don't really you know, expect much out of this game away from home to TNS, but hopefully we can hold on as for as long as we can, keep that clean sheet, and then, of course, it won't really matter what happens in the other game so we're going to actually put the latest scores up because we need to make sure uh you know Bala win their game we'll do it like this since you know I know the badge is pretty eno enough to keep it like that and uh, there we go we don't haven't exactly started brilliantly but it's only a minute into the game so it doesn't really reflect much so far I actually need to change the ratings there but TNS are on the attack yet again good clearance by Jones pretty much on the line the keeper don't know what he was doing there <laughs> it was all over the place. He ran away from the goal. And there you go. In the end, a nothing shot for TNS. But it's them who were creating the chances in the first 10 minutes. Which isn't great. And isn't ideal. But maybe we can create a chance here. As Callaway picks up the ball on the right. Plays it across to Hislop. Hislop back to Venables. Venables to Callaway out on the right yet again. Maybe he can beat his marker, which he can. Cuts inside, trying to. Nope. 
gets a cross in of, in the end. Nope. Jones's shot is saved by Harrison. And we've got a corner though. Maybe we can create something here. Davies whips this one in. Can't find the white shirt and it is cleared away. Good chances there and we probably should have scored with the Jones opportunity. Sad that we didn't. A lot of the attacks from TNS are coming down the left. It looks like poor little, uh, I think it's Green is his name? Preen, sorry. Isn't exactly <laughs> being given a good debut, but uh, I, I feel he is a future left back for us. So why not give him the game? I know he's looking anxious, but he's going to have to play somewhere. Why not against TNS? Preen, if I can hopefully with this one in. Nope. Venables though, Morgan out wide to Hoy. Hoy spreads the play to Callaway. We're using the width. Well, Callaway gets it to Jones. Good save by Harrison. Unlucky there. Another clear cut opportunity for us. Miss though. Isn't good. Davies whips this one in. Morgan trying to get there. Can't. Callaway with edge of the box. Over. Unlucky. We're definitely getting a f you know, the better chances than TNS. We've got a lot more of the ball than them as well. So we need to take one of these chances sooner rather than later. Now TNS though looks to have got back into the game and have a good chance there and it's forced to make a save there, Lewis. As Duff hits the bar for TNS. And the highlight ends. Whoa. It was a good chance there for them and they're definitely back into the game. Davies, Sinnott unlucky. Sinnott is being chased by another team. I don't just remember the team name, but hopefully we can keep him here for uh, next season. Davies, oh, what a chance. Doing very well on the ball there, the youngster. Creating a good opportunity, but we need to stop this counter-attack. We've got enough players back now. So yeah, there you go. It was enough to prevent the attack. Cormory, sorry, that guy's name. They called him Corey a second ago, I think. But they're, again, a lot of the attacks are coming down from the left. Um, this isn't great. Preen is in the wrong position. He's really, you know, pressing up against the centre back when he really should be out wide, pressurising the full back and the winger from the attack. So I may actually look to sub him off. As Hislop is through here, forces a good save from Harrison. They should be doing a lot better there, one on one with the keeper. Davies puts this one in, and it's cleared away by a green shirt. Davies again, Sinner unlucky. TNS are withstanding heavy pressure, which really I wouldn't have expected them to say in this match. So we're doing better than I expect. As Port Talbot have actually taken the lead and it will drop us down to fourth. And Athen Lido actually take the lead as well. So we actually want to see what that does for us in the league table. So it drops us down to fourth. We are way ahead of Athen Lido, so that doesn't make too much of a difference. But Port Talbot are definitely, um, are, will definitely finish above us if all things stayed the same. Hopefully, Bala can get an equalising goal, and we can get a goal that we definitely deserve so far this this game. What's Lewis doing there? What he could try that with his feet? He should have grabbed that. That's a bit of a nervy moment from the keeper there. Oh, Callaway asking a little bit too much of his slop there. But Jones, if he can find his slop, hopefully he can get an opportunity here. He's being forced out wide. Preen, Venables, Morgan spreads the play to Hoy. We're using the width of the pitch very well. Callaway running inside Venables with a shot and it's off target. Wasted possession there. Should have done a lot better. Should have looked to try and cross over maybe to swap wings, something like that. Hislop will pick up the ball though. Gives it to Davies. Hopefully if he can find a white shirt in the box. Oh, he's trying to aim for Jones but he can't quite get there as Venables takes a long shot and it's well wide. Well, well wide. Hmm, so Jones isn't having the best of games. On terms of the bench, it's either Hislop will probably end up coming on. If I have to make a change up front, good chance there from Comrie. And I'm seriously thinking about it. We'll bring Eddie Hislop on. Who, what's his best position? Force 9, I'm happy that to play him there then as a Force 9, if that's his so-called best position. I don't really know the player's stats enough. So we have Eddie Hislop and David Hislop up front. Hopefully the Hifslop pairing can actually create something. I don't think they have a relation either. I don't think regens can have relations. I'm not too sure about that. But Hislop was a chance there, forcing Harrison to save. I'll call them by their first name, Eddie and David, so we don't get too confused. Just because saying Hislop doesn't exactly say who I'm talking about. Um, I still really want to take Preen off, but I don't. If I've, you know, his his rating isn't too bad. His um, body language isn't exactly terrible. As, what, is that wild? I think it's wild. <laughs> it's that wide. This Baller is still losing to Port Talbot, which isn't 
ideal for us, which means we do need to get the goal. We do need to win the game to make sure we get third place. You see, third place may even be an automatic European spot, and uh, sixth, fifth, and fourth may go into European playoffs. I'm not even sure, so we need to win this game. As Hislop, Eddie Hislop breaks through. Eddie Hislop, unlucky there, forcing a good save from Harrison. And you know, probably should have done a little better. Davies with this one in, trying to find Sinnott, but can't. Preen needs to pick up this ball here. It doesn't matter. Doyle runs it out of play. But Eddie is doing very, very well there, the youngster. And he actually tries picking up the ball again, but can't. Is that Merritt? Merritt down on the right for TNS. This is not good. We need to dispossess them and try and force an attack here. Morrison doing very well for TNS. This attack uh, was building... Very slowly, very nicely, and we actually need to go for this right now. But I don't really feel the need to change how we're playing. Hopefully, the goal will just come. Oh, this isn't good. We're going to bring Nobrowski on. The Polish player. Hopefully that will make some sort of change or difference. His slop. Callaway. On the right. Uh, oh. Davies. Uh. Can't get it. You got Davies now. Venables. Unlucky. Can't get there. Counter attack for TNS. Mm, kind of want to go control now. Preen doing a good right thing and stopping the play and stopping the counter attack. David Hislop's not having a good game, but I don't really trust the other player enough. Uh, Venables, Hislop, Callaway down the right. Come on, we need to get this goal now. Uh, we are going attacking. That is ideal. Well, not really ideal, but that is what I want to happen right now. Hopefully we can get a goal here, actually, from this highlight. Davies taking their time down the left. It's all right to take the time as long as we create something at the end of it. Don't take a long shot. Don't take a long shot, Callaway. Hislop. Oh, Eddie Hislop off target. Sorry about the interruption there, guys, but what I've done is I've made tactical changes while I was being interrupted, so we're going to do it like this. Yeah, we're going to go like this. <laughs> I've been really looking at this for a long time. We're going to go like this for the last 20 minutes because we need the goal. Worst comes to worst, what we will do is we'll put these three guys in the middle because they all can play centre mid. We'll drop uh, Eddie Hislop back onto the right. We'll drop David Hislop onto the left and we'll put Bollock up front by himself. Uh, but what we're going, what we've done is we've actually gone attacking. We've chose to play wider, go route one, pump the ball up in the box, hit early crosses, play higher tempo, and run at the fence. Actually, I'm going to take off that one. I don't actually want that one. And basically, we've told our two target men to just hold position. Basically, stay up front, get that ball, knock it into Eddie Hislop, and hopefully we'll find the back of the net. And we're going to go like this for the next 20 minutes or so. Hopefully, try and create the goal that we need because basically at this point it's all or nothing. We can lose this game; it won't make a difference. If if, if we lose this game and they, and Balor end up scoring a very late goal, then of course we'll kick ourselves in the teeth. But at this position, we have to do everything we can to affect the result. We can't be hoping Balor do our job for us. So this is TNS obviously looking to exploit the fact that we only have about five people coming back. We've got three guys always up front, and really we should be looking to hit them, um, you know, very very quickly. Uh, but this isn't exactly working out. For some reason, uh, Callaway didn't run for the ball. But I guess it doesn't matter because the highlight died out anyway. But since changing a tactic, we've not actually got the ball. Uh, this isn't good. I'm going to look to over overload. Overload for the next 13 minutes of the game. Hopefully, we can see a highlight. Hopefully, we can see a highlight for us. There you go. Bullock to Davies. Davies to Bullock. Bullock. No, oh, why didn't he whip this one in? Prent. Ambroski, come on, get it in. No, we were out wide. We should have just whipped it in. Ah, oh, such a simple thing just to get the ball in the box. We were out there. There were guys in there, and we a oh, good save for Lewis. Keeps us in the game for a little bit longer. We should have done so much better with that opportunity there, because despite the fact we've had a lot in the game. Right now, we're not getting a lot of opportunities, and we need to just throw everything forward, try and throw everything at the goal, but I'm not seeing that. Pren can hopefully create something here if he finds the right shirt. He can't. I think the inexperience and the lack of quality shown by Bullock there as he get, just gives away possession as we really could have created a counter-attack. Pren doing all right on the left. 
he's, that he's preventing a lot of the wing, a lot of the ball getting to the winger and tackling him, causing him a nuisance. As they get another shot away, five minutes remaining. Hopefully, we can at least get one more chance in this five minutes. That will provide us with the goal we want. Uh, so no, Bala, Port Talbot scored their second. Even if we draw the game now, it won't make a difference. And there we go. This game, this game's over. It, it doesn't even matter with this result anymore. We will definitely be playing in some sort of playoff, whatever that may be. Oh, that was disappointing. We definitely deserve to win the game. At least we deserve the point. But overall, we were just unlucky out there. You know, a different day we might have scored five. But today we couldn't score any. And that was enough to do much to a defeat. So, there we go. Um, we got a press conference. Apart from that, nothing much too, nothing else too much. We're gonna actually send assistant and we'll continue the day on the full, uh, continue the day on. So there you go, there is the Welsh Premier League Euro Place Playoff Quarter Final. So obviously, I think, f well actually, how would that work? Do TNS actually have a place in Europe already or is that not? Well, advance forward to that day, I don't think we're actually in the quarter final then. Um, da 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 da. I'm not sure how this works. Um, what I'll do is I'll see you guys back uh, at the Livecom, at the European Playoffs, because obviously we're in it, but I don't know at what stage we will enter. So until next time, guys, peace out.